Okay, this is a HP whatever laptop, and I just installed Linux Mint, but I also have Windows 10 on here already. Now, the way I did the install, I did with the something else method. I created my own root and swap partition. I did not create a boot uh, partition, or did I didn't create a home folder partition because I don't believe in home folders. Is my it's just the way I roll. So anyway, my thing is after I boot this up, I want to see how the bootloader is going to show up, and also I want to be able to remove this installation and go back into Windows. So I'm going to restart. Okay, now so take the medium out. So I take the drive out. Hit enter. Okay, it's an HP. Okay, so I get the grub. Okay, because when I uh, created the uh, the install, I used the Windows bootloader and just overwrote it using the grub. So now I get to choose between Linux and Windows. Okay, that's fine. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and select Windows. Make sure it boots up. Okay, so my Windows popped up. Everything looks good. Alright, now you guys can see my name. Okay. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna wipe out the Linux. But let me just retest it and go back into Linux. Okay, so I'm going to select Linux Mint, see what that thing looks like. Okay, so I get the welcome screen. I'm in Linux now. It looks good. I got all my software, blah blah blah. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to delete you. How am I going to delete you, Linux? I'm going to delete you in Windows. I'm going to go boot back into Windows and delete you. Okay, I'm back in Windows. Now I'm going to use a program I've been using for a while to do my partitioning. It's called an MEI Partition Assistant. And I'm going to find that Linux partition, which I believe is right here. And I'm going to delete that bad boy. I don't need that. And I don't need the swap partition. Okay. I deleted both of those. I'm pretty sure once I've done this, when I try to reboot, I'm going to get an error. So let's take a look. So, you better do everything you need to do on your Windows machine, because once you reboot, it's not going to come back up, right? So, here we go. I'm going to restart. Restarting. Done! I get an error. No search partition. Why? Because I deleted it. Now, this is where they say it's better be prepared for a casualty before you have it. So this is my Windows 10 install drive. So I'm gonna use that to fix this bad boy. All right now I got my uh, machine set up to automatically boot to the drive that's uh, in the USB slot. So it's gonna take a second before it comes up. Okay, so I boot it up. Now I'm not gonna do the install, but I gotta go through this process in order to get to where I need to be. So, just go ahead and click next. Click install now. And if you get this, just go ahead and click down there where it says I don't have a product key. Yeah, I'm gonna do Windows 10 Pro, yeah, yeah. Next. Of course, it's already installed, so again, just gotta go through this in order to get to where I need to be, so. 10, you're going to do the install, do the custom install. Now, let's find that partition that I deleted. Is it that one? No, I don't think it's that one. Is it this one? No, I don't think it's that one. I think that's, no, it ain't it either. You know what? I probably deleted it already because I did it in the partition tool. So why am I here? How about we just close this up? 
Yes. And let's just go straight to repair your computer. Okay. I'm going to go to troubleshoot. I'm going to go to command prompt. And this is where we have to type this in. Boot R E C dot E X E space slash fix MBR. That's about that right. Okay, see that? Type that in and hit enter. Okay, let's just close the component and the uh, window up. Oh, no, close it, not make it larger. All right, turn off the PC. Take out the drive. Let it boot. Let it boot. It's not going to boot, you know why? Because I clicked turn off. So I need to push the button to turn it back on. That's the ticket. Okay, now I'm going to go. Wow. How about that? It's booting up. And that, my friends, is how you fix your bootloader. Bootloader, if you do boot window, with Windows and Linux, and you delete Linux, and you want to try another Linux, but you don't want to lose your Windows, that's how you do it.